Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is puzzle num or problem number 65 in my Sudoku problem series. This is one I created a while ago, and uh, I remember liking it and haven't come back to revisit it, so let's hope I can pull this one off. This is a diagonal killer problem. So there are two rules in effect for this one. Um, the diagonals must also contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition and killer cages, where digits cannot repeat within cages and must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So of course there is a link below to where you can try this problem for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait a few seconds so you can pause the video um, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so um, this one, I this one is based around a trick that I believe you need to solve it, but we'll see how it goes. So the first thing we can do is we can look at this three cage and know that the only way to make up a three is with one and two. And similarly with a four, the only way to make up a four cage is with one and three. So we now have a one pointing it here. So this becomes two and this becomes one. Now a five cage can be made up in, um, in two different ways. So you can either use one and four or you can use two and three. Um, and similarly here, this can be either one, four or two, three. Um, and I've probably forgotten the important trick for this, haven't I? Almost certainly. Um, but one of the, the important thing that I wanted to drive home for this particular problem is these four digits here cannot repeat. So this digit here, um, this can be only one, three, or four, because you can't use a digit higher than four in a five cage. So this digit either must be one, four, or two. So you end up with this situation. Now, what happens if this is a three? Well, if this is a three, and I think this is the right one to ask about. If this is a three, this becomes a two. This becomes a one, but this becomes, because we've used three and two here, this becomes four, one, but we've got three, here, one here, and this has no fill. So you end up with three, two, four, one, and this has no value. Um, so this one here has to be the four, which immediately makes this the one. This can't be four or one, so this becomes three, this becomes two. This now has to be the one, and this has to be the three, and that's the solution to the problem. And a lot of it comes you can get from the fact that the these digits all see each other. You don't need to actually know that to solve it, but that's the 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 key trick in some of this. Um, I I wanted people to sort of realise that this one two three four was a thing. Um, Hopefully that came through. If not, it was just an interesting little deduction that this cell was applying pressure to both of these cages. Um, again, the diagonals are communicating. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one um, and I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.